Tommy, you got the roof out, huh? <laughs> I sure do. I want to show you a demonstration on how water can come off the roof and rot the underside of your roof. I know that you are a stickler for keeping the house dry because you've seen the damage water can do. Oh, it's amazing. And it can attack all your fascia board, your sidewalls, and even underneath the roof shingles. Mm -hmm. Let me show you right here. I've got a perfect example of a shed. Yeah. All right. And on the leading edge of the shed, there is a no drip edge, but if you take a close look at the sheathing underneath the shingle, you can see how the sheathing is black, the structure is black, and the sidewall eventually is going to get black. So you can tell it's wet even though the shingles overhang the sheathing in the edge there. Right. Once the roof gets wet, the water comes down over the edge and gets sucked into the sheathing and it will come right up the wall and eventually rot all of this. This has got to be back four or five inches to rot right there. Right. I mean, it's sort of inconceivable to think that the water will run uphill. That works on surface tension. Let me show you. I've set up a little demonstration here. So surface tension is being what? That the water will actually stick to surfaces? Yep. It'll stick to the surface and it'll roll over the edge of the surface and then get drawn back up. All right. Okay. So You've got a prop. What's, uh... I've got a prop here. I've got three different props. This is the first one. This is similar to what we see over there in the picture that I showed you. So we've got the shingles close to the edge of the sheathing and right. the sheathing with no drip edge. The water's going to come down. Now you have to wait just a little bit. There it is. See it? Oh, wow. That didn't take it's... long at all, huh? See how it's getting drawn right under the sheathing? So it's getting pulled right to the sheathing. Yep. It's also getting pulled literally backwards and then running down the face of the fascia. Right. The wetter the wood gets, the higher the water's going to go. Hmm. Okay, so now if you put on a metal drip edge, yep. and now this is a metal drip edge right here. Now there's different sizes and different widths. This is just a standard eight inch drip edge. And you see that little bend on the bottom right here? I do. That's a kicker. And that's so that if water comes off the edge and gets sucked back in, the water droplets will fall away from the fascia board. So if we put this over this scenario right here, which is what you've got on the second um, prop, right. it should work? It will work a little better, but it's not gonna work right. Oh, man. It's wrapping itself in, hitting the drip edge. It's still wetting the fascia board. There, I mean, there's still a lot of water just running down the fascia. Yep. Now, because the overhang isn't far enough out, yep. it's going to shorten the life of the fascia board. So the drip edge is definitely doing something, mm -hmm. um, but it's not that effective. So let's see what it does on the third one. Okay. So now on the third one, I've taken the the drip edge and I've created a gap, the thickness of my finger. Mm -hmm. I've also overhung the shingles three eighths to a half an inch. Which is more than in the second example. Right. So right off the bat, the shingles are overhanging so much, it doesn't even pull it back to the drip edge much. Right. It won't drop. If it does get blown in there from wind, but it's really not going to be surface tension, it should start to stick, but it will fall off. Nothing on the fascia? Nothing on the fascia board because we're out. And it's very important that the leading edge of the roof is an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters away from the fascia board. So same materials as the second example, but way more effective just because they're installed properly. Absolutely. And that's a good way to keep your fascia board dry and the underside of your roof dry. And you know what? This application is the same whether you run up the rake boards. Nice. Good info, Tommy. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.